All right, this video is about a demonstration of one of the new and uh, really kind of cool uh, USB attack tools. Uh, it's made by the, the Hack5 group, Daring Kitchen, and uh, it's very similar to some of the other ones that have been out there. Uh, I've done a lot of work with the uh, Teensy, which is kind of a clone of an Arduino and uh, just some of the capabilities and I picked up this one which is known as the rubber ducky uh, basically it's an AVR with a specialized firmware to run some code to emulate a keyboard and mouse uh, capability or mouse functions uh, but pretty easy and pretty cool looking scripting language I put a little demo together uh, really what I was impressed with is that the Teensy device is uh, running an Atmel chip and I think it tops out at 16 megahertz and with the configuration that's set up here with the micro SD on it it actually drops it down to 8 megahertz because it has to bring down the speed and the voltage down to 3.3 uh, uh, and what's interesting about this new one uh, the USB rubber ducky is that supposedly it runs at 60 megahertz so uh, of course, that made me very interested in it, just to see if it was actually that fast. And uh, frankly, I think that would make it faster than the actual USB bus uh, of the computer could keep up with it. In any case, I put together a quick little uh, demonstration to see what this was like. And I'll hit that off in a second. Just to take a quick look at it, it's a simple Atmel chip. Um, very small, I mean probably about the size of, uh, I don't know, two nickels put uh, lengthwise with each other. Uh, you can tell pretty much by the, the size of my thumbnail. Really small device, so it would be very easy to conceal. And, uh, you know, pretty cool looking little animal. Uh, I attach it to a extension cable when I plug this thing in just to give it a little more uh, rigidity of having to put it in and out. And uh, for anybody who owns one of these, I've learned a couple interesting things. Uh, one being that you can have multiple files on the card and just rename them as you see fit. Uh, when the code runs, it's looking for one file in particular, an inject.bin. Um, so I keep one file called inject.bin on the micro SD card and then I just keep a couple other ones that I like to have out there and I can rename them as I need uh, to inject up in to uh, you know, make them the primary code that's going to run. I'm going to set this up and uh, we'll give it a give it a shot. Alright, picking off, picking up where we left off I've uh, put the rubber ducky on a little extension. I'm going to plug this into USB and hopefully try to get a shot of what the screen looks like when this code runs you hear that it found it it's dropping in a little message just saying that this is a test of the rubber ducky and yeah it works and just had it open up notepad run a couple commands leave a little text message uh, close everything up and then open up explorer throw in a site and uh, based on my experience of what I've done with the uh, Teensy devices and other Arduinos, pretty close. I'd probably say it's a, a little bit faster. Um, just like the Arduino and Teensy devices, a lot has to be done when it comes to creating a uh, timing and delays in between the commands so you don't go faster than the uh, machine is capable of keeping up with it. Uh, from a keystroke perspective. Anyway, that's a quick little intro to the USB rubber ducky and as I get a chance to screw with this thing I'll uh, put up some code examples on Digital Intercept. 